What is up everybody and welcome back to the 5 days of color grading where every single day this week I'm going to be teaching you tips and tricks on how to get better at color grading and how to make better looking images. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a crispy black and white color grade. And let me tell you it's not as easy as just turning down your saturation. Also make sure to stay to the end of this video because I have something that I want to give you. Let's hop into it. So we have this footage here of a girl holding a leaf and we're going to convert this footage into black and white. So we're only going to need 4 nodes for this. It's going to be super simple. Let me show you how we do it. So the first node that we're going to create is a color space transform node and we're going to put that at the end. If you want to know more about color space transforms, check out the first video in this series and I also have a pack that you can download for free in that video. So this converts our footage from S-Log3 to Rec709 so let's just activate that. And now our footage has more contrast. Now let's start the black and white process. So the first note that we're going to start off with is the saturation. And of course we're going to drop saturation all the way down to zero. So we're going to go down to saturation. Right now it's at 50 and we're just going to drop it all the way down to zero. And of course our footage is black and white. Now our next node is going to be exposure. Now I'm just going to make sure that I'm in my waveform so I can properly see where my exposure is at. And we're going to start creating an S curve with our footage. So I'm going to drop down my highlights a little bit and just add a little bit of a curve. I'm going to drop down my shadows and we're just going to make that pop. We're not trying to clip the highlights but we're just trying to make it pop. Then we can use a little bit of the lift and the gamma to just tighten it up a little bit. So using a little bit of lift, a little bit of gamma, bring it down a little bit. And I actually like to crush the blacks a little bit and make the highlights pop. So we're going to bring up this curve on the highlights. We don't want them to be clipping, but we want them to be popping. Now, you might think we're done, but we're not, because there's one last thing that we have to add, and that's the creme brulee, the sharpness. Now, the sharpness is what's going to make that crispy black and white footage, but we're not going to add regular sharpness. We're going to add mid-tone detail. So we're going to go to our mid-tone slider, and we're going to bring it up to about 70. So let's have it land on 70. 70.5, 70 is okay. And let's just look at the before and after. Let's look at the strands in her hair. So we're gonna take off the sharpness and we're gonna bring it back. Look at the pop that it brings. Look at, look at the hair, look at the hair. Before, after, before, after the pop that it gives. And this is how you create that poppy black and white footage. And we did such a good job at this that if I bring out some more clips, I can just copy and paste this over. Maybe bring down the exposure a little bit. I can just use the lift, bring that down, maybe bring up the gain a little bit. And there we go. We can also do it with this footage. Let me just copy that over. Bring that down, the exposure down a little bit. And there we go. We have perfect black and white crispy footage that looks absolutely incredible and that will pop out of the screen. Now, as you guys know, I don't like it when you guys have to do a lot of work. So I've provided a free power grade that you can use in DaVinci Resolve that you can drag onto your footage and get beautiful looking black and white images almost instantly. So if you want to download that power grade for yourself, hit the top link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned tomorrow for another quick tip.